Hi, this is Joel with Mountain Multimedia and Web Design Mountain. Today we will be working on building a new water bubble from scratch. You create a new file in Photoshop as shown and start by making a background that's uh, aqua blue and then creating a round, completely round sphere uh, using white and then take the fill and turn it down to 20 percent. I'll start building the transparent look and then this is all the effects on there all at once but we're going to show you how to build those. So we have a drop shadow here and all these effects you're going to add on to the, the bubble will be done mostly all with uh, layer effects. We're going to drop shadow and an inner shadow and I'll be posting all these uh, settings afterwards because it's going a little quick for us to just put all this on and I expect you to copy all this info. We bevel and emboss and also add contour so pretty big settings compared to what you might use and we have this color in action so and also a contour, it's a standard contour that's available right there. That setting. And finally, a little bit of satin to give it a nice extra kind of contour there. So we have that color and the settings that shape a contour. Next we're going to add a little bit of extra light because you can't get that to happen with the bevel emboss. It just won't come out that way and give you that extra roundy look. So we're going to take a standard Photoshop brush, uh, the soft edge uh, 200 pixel, and we're going to shape it a little bit by taking the roundness down and then we're going to rotate that brush by using the angle here and then we can just do a one click maybe a little smaller than 200 pixels so play around with that and just uh, undo until you get it right but it's mainly there and then we put a little extra glow on it almost a standard setting and just pure white on the glow and that's about it this is our first video tutorial so a little basic next time hope to add something a little more complicated for you Thank you.